The secret to easy curved piecing is lots of pinning, but there's a couple other things you can do that make it easier as well. I fold and press both my quarter circle and my background in half to find that center. And then I have my quarter circle with the fold down and my background with the fold up. So when I put them together, they nest and I can get that center spot marked exactly. So I'm going to start out there with a pin and then I'm going to take and line up my straight edges and put a pin at the, this end and do the same thing at the other end. And it makes it kind of weird and squishy in the center, but don't worry about that. And then you start to pull. Because both of these cut curved edges are cut on the bias, you've got a little bit of fabric stretch to play with. So what you want to do is gently pull the fabrics just enough so you can line up the raw edges. And you can see it's not exactly perfect, but there's definitely some give in the sewing technique. So I'm going to keep pulling, kind of straightening things out and lining those up. I typically put in the, the center and the two end pen, pins and then two in the middle on each half. The more pins, the better. Then you go and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. And the trick is to keep pulling gently, but pull so that you're always sewing straight. And so you maneuver the fabric as you stitch. So you're always sewing in a straight line. You can do it with this side up or with the quarter circle side up. The nice thing about doing it here is this background is the one that is more likely to pucker because there's all the extra fabric. So if you have this on top, you can see that and prevent it from happening. So when it's time to stitch, I'm going to line up that edge under my sewing machine foot, put my needle in, and then pull the first pin out. And then just start stitching. You can see how I've got it straight here. Even though it is a curve, I'm gently pulling on it so that I'm sewing in a straight line. And if your raw edges don't match up exactly, that's okay. Your curve will still turn out just fine. And so I'm taking the, these curved edges just manipulating them so that I'm sewing more of a straight line. So see, I've got a little, the white was starting to pucker there, so I pull on it a little bit and get that excess out of the way. I'll keep the last pin in as long as I can. So let's take a look here at my stitching and you can see it lines up pretty close, but not exactly. And like I said, that's okay. And here I just avoided a pucker. And as long as you keep that on the outer side of your stitch line, it won't cause a problem. But I've got a pretty decent curved line. I'm gonna come over to my iron and press. And that seam allowance will lay down really nicely and give you a nice flat block. There we go.